and I'm just mm-hmm. tired. tired. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. I get that. I get that. It wears on you, you know? Because mm-hmm. what does that mean? Mm-hmm. What is that telling me? What is it telling me? Yeah. And what does it tell me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what am I doing? I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. And I heard on this. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. I am your host, KTJ, former men's counselor turned love coach. And today we got a good one. We have Taraji P. Henson cries. What am I doing? This is a very difficult thing to hear. I I got a couple of examples. I, I have a thought about this. As you guys know, I was a men's counselor for for 17 years. And um, so I'm 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 going to tell you how I hear this from the male perspective. But then I'm also going to tell you what I see happening here in these streets with um, our ladies, our successful women. Taraji P. Henson is definitely in the category of successful women. But there's some things that our successful women have to do and consider. That's what we're going to get into. Let's do in the street, Taraji, you had the audacity <clears throat> to say you're thinking about getting stopping acting. We said, stop talking. Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Um, mm. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. Um, You get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Mm -hmm. Have to. Mm -hmm. The math ain't mathing. Mm -hmm. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Mm -hmm. Big bills come with what we do. We don't do this alone. The fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind us. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm-hmm. Know that off the top, Uncle Sam is getting 50%. That's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So do the math. Now we have 5 million. Your team is getting 30% or whatever your team is off of what you grossed. Sometimes not more. after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. Mm-hmm. So. I just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm only human. And, and mm-hmm. it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again. Mm-hmm. Like I never mm-hmm. did what I just did. Mm-hmm. And I'm just tired. tired. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. I get that. I get that. It wears on you, you know, mm-hmm. cause what does that mean? Mm-hmm. What is that telling me? What is it telling me? Yeah. And what does it tell me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what am I doing? I'm sorry. Yeah. And I heard them. All right. So let me, let me tell you a little something. Um, so I have a, this morning, this is just, this just happened this morning. I have a successful neighbor. She's a beautiful black woman with her son. And, uh, you know, she has her own business, successful woman, right? At four o'clock this morning, for whatever reason, I couldn't sleep. I came downstairs and I heard this sound that sounded like the trash truck. Y'all know that sound when the trash truck come down? Beep, beep, beep. But it wasn't the trash truck. It was the tow truck. I went to look out the window and I noticed my next door neighbor was being towed. So I'm like looking around to see, is she out there? Did she call the tow truck? Maybe her car broke down. She could have came and, you know, said something to me. Not at four four o'clock in the morning, but I noticed that her car was being towed. And and I watched the, the body language of the tow truck driver. He hopped out, looked out, looked at, at the cars, looked at the tires, ran back in, did his thing. <laughs> Made sure it went right up. He backed that truck. He had a long tow truck too. Backed that sucker up and put her 
Jaguar SUV up on the tow truck and pulled off. And she didn't, she, I noticed, I, I even came outside and said maybe she came outside. She didn't come outside. Her house stayed dark. Her car, her high-end car was being repossessed. And I'm telling y'all, it's getting tough out here. And I'm telling y'all, it's going to get tougher out here. Okay. Taraji P. Henson is here in this um, video here. She was being interviewed. And they caught, they got her, um, the word on the street was that she is considering getting out of the business. Now, you know, we were, we were all like, no, how could you? No, it's so beautiful. You're so good at it. But there's an economic expense that we don't understand. And she broke it down for us. It's more than just going out there. Check it on out. The street, Taraji, you had the audacity to say you're thinking about getting, stopping acting. We said, stop talking. Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Um, mm. So when when she did this right here, this means this has been a weight on my mind. This is this is what this is what that that right there looks like. This is a weight on my mind. This is a weight on my heart, and here it comes. Right now. I'm, I'm going to let this cook, but then I want to tell you, I want to give you some kind of some other context about this. Let's go. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. Okay. You hear all that groaning? Mm hmm. People understand what it's like. So well, what's her complaint? Her complaint is she's tired of working. She's tired of being gracious. And getting a fraction of getting paid a fraction of the cost. OK. Now, she is dealing with the with the challenges of a successful woman. Let me ask you all something. Let, let me, uh, while I, my heart goes out to her because I can see that it's really troubling on her. She's still making millions of dollars. <laughs> She's still making millions, y'all. And, you know, I know, look, we like to, we like to like feel bad. We feel bad for somebody who's feeling bad. She's still wealthy. She's still making money. And from a male, from the male perspective, Women in our society are allowed to have this conversation out loud. Women in our society are allowed to have this conversation out loud. Men in our society are not allowed to have this conversation out loud. Because if a man says this, I want y'all to hear this in a man's voice. I'm going to run it back. I want, I want y'all to hear it in a man's voice. Listen, listen to this. Imagine this is a man saying this. I'm just tired of working. Stop right there. <laughs> Stop right there. You 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 do know that your art your ears clicked off. Why? If you imagine a man saying this, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't even register. You like you bum. What are you talking about? <laughs> you don't want to hear that. Keep going. So hard. Being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Complaining about how much money you're making. Mm, let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. Women in our society can complain about certain things that men in our society cannot complain about. Now, this is also her dream. This is her desire. This was her what she wanted her whole life. I've heard her story. She she sacrificed everything, like sold everything she had and went to Hollywood and, and Kevin Hart gave her her first shot. Okay? Gave her her dream position. Boom. She's in, in Hollywood. Gave her, put her in the movie. And she took off from there. Now, 
while I can understand the human side of this and I feel this, I also understand that in our society, um, women have certain rights to certain conversations, right? And even with this, um, the, the, the fact that she can have this conversation and everybody can gravitate towards her and hear what she has to say. If you could see the comments over here, everybody said, this broke my soul. This lady said from Black Bunny, she said, this broke my soul. I have never seen her get so emotional like this before. This breaks my heart. Would this break your heart if this was a man saying this? Uh-uh, probably wouldn't. <laughs> probably wouldn't. Let me let her cook for a minute, uh, one more. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Um, you get tired. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. The math ain't mathing. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Mm -hmm. Big bills come with what we do. Yes. We don't do this alone. The mm -hmm. fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind yes, us. Yes. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top, Uncle Sam is getting 50%. Yes. Okay. So you can't, you can't really... What I'm feeling from this, y'all, is that you can't really complain about the gift of success. You can't complain about the gift of success, right? This is what you wanted as well. Look, I, I have another friend that I was having this conversation with. She was telling me all the things she's doing, doing this in real estate and going here and trying to be this for this one and that for that one and this for the other person. I told her, you know what you need? You need a man. <laughs> you need a man who can come into your life and, and create some equilibrium, some balance, some sit your ass down, <laughs> some you're not going anywhere tonight. You're staying home and resting, right? You've got to have that balance. And so I, I'm, I'm telling you, uh, for some people, now I saw a couple of her relationships didn't work. They didn't pan out. But your best effort is to, as a woman, is to put yourself in the best position you can. Get yourself a husband. Get yourself a support system. And yes, work your magic, but you better be building something back at the house so you can have something collectively. Some, something and having some support. This lady needs a husband. She needs a, she needs a, a man in her life that is there with her to, to hold those tears and to encourage her and give her a little bit of direction and help. Everybody needs it, but especially successful women. All right. Look, you guys hit that like button, hit the like button. I know this one was a little tight and, and uh, maybe even controversial, but this is what we're doing. We're not backing up from it. I hope you guys checked it out and hit the like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.